Cost of rent continues to rise in Colorado, but a first of its kind program in the state is helping renters who face eviction in Pueblo. KRDO News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live to explain how this program is making a big difference in keeping people off the street. Barbara. Bart Pueblo is the first county to establish a coordinated eviction diversion and housing stability program. This program has significantly decreased the amount of people left without a home. 23 evictions are up throughout the state by 32 percent and Pueblo mirrors those numbers. Pueblo County Eviction Diversion Program Coordinator Gail Rudoskovich is hard at work today. She's helping a tenant keep a roof over their head as rent prices continue to soar. And for renters who fall behind on payments, they run the risk of being evicted. Really, the sheriff can show up and put all of their belongings on the street. And if you've ever seen that, it's horrendous. You'll see cribs and toys, and they put it on the sidewalk. Uh, they just move everything out. It's not box. They just carry every belonging out of that rental and put it on the streets. So that, that's the, the reality in the face of eviction. But that's where Colorado Legal Services comes in to help Pueblo residents navigate this issue. So the attorneys go in and work with the landlord attorneys uh, to get an agreement to give us time to get rental assistance. This is a check from the Department of Human Services. These checks go to people facing eviction. They cover up to $2,500 for a person behind on rent. I think for a lot of them it is like Christmas. Um, you know, it really takes the load off because most of these folks are just in a situational um, distress uh, with their housing. From March to December 31st of 2022, Colorado Legal Services says it helps 45% of people who are facing eviction stay housed. With the help of the city, county, and state funding, the group was able to provide more than $500,000 in rental assistance. To secure their housing is um, just, I mean, it's amazing for them to not have to worry about where are we going to put our kids Colorado Legal Services plans to ask the city and county for more money to help aid with this program. But tonight at the city council work session, they plan to specifically go over the progress they have made. Reporting live in downtown Pueblo, Barbara Fox, KRDO, News Channel 13.